Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my garage. Well, here we are, the 15th of the month. It's time for that monthly update on our systems. Uh, for those of you that are following along and using this data to try to plan your own system, let's get to the numbers so you have what you came here for. All right, so let's have a look here. This is the 30 amp. Uh, this is the big system. has 410 watts worth of panels up there on the roof. The load is at 71.7 as it always is because there is no load on this one. The PV array is at 825. That is up from 770 and a total of 55 kilowatts according to the PV array. Let's have a look here at the shunt. The shunt is at 513. That's up from 459. Uh, that is 54 uh, according to the shunt. So one kilowatt difference between the two. Let's take a look here at the little system. This is the 20 amp, 280 watt system. And the, what are we looking for here? The load is 62.9. That is up from 56.4, six and a half as it is every single month. Uh, that's four hours a night, uh, every single day, running the outside lights there. Uh, the PV array is at 222, uh, up from 188. That is 34. Uh, for the month, not too bad at all. Uh, 136 kilowatts uh, up from 98. So according to this, we made 38, uh, and according to the EP ever here, we made 34. So uh, there's a little bit of difference between the two. Uh, it is currently just short of nine o'clock, and we're getting seven amps out of the little system here. That's 280 watts worth of panels kicking out seven amps, and the big system with 410 watts is kicking out 11.4. So not too bad. Uh, got good good sun out there today. Going to be a wonderful day for solar production, it looks like. Now, we've had the refrigerator off-grid as much as possible, which is what's responsible for the 3 kilowatts a day that we're, that we're, uh, we're getting out of the system here. Uh, you know, in the summertime, that's the crazy thing about how all this goes down in the summertime you got so much power you're trying to figure out how to use it all and in the winter time uh, all you're trying to do is figure out how to, how to not use the grid to keep the batteries from going down to zero uh such a difference uh man i'd love to live close to the equator <laughs> or at least points farther south uh you know, we're at 40th North here, uh, and take me down to the 20 North, uh, I bet your production would be, year-round production uh, would be uh, a lot better. Um, I can only imagine what, what uh, projects in paradise there in, in Hawaii, uh, I, I can only imagine his fluctuation between spring and, and summer and winter and fall. Uh, it, can't, it can't be near what it is here at the 40th North. Uh, he didn't have any idea how lucky he is uh, to have... To have that kind of sunshine all the time. Uh, I don't know. But uh, hey, you can still make solar work here at 40th North. Uh, the biggest thing is batteries. You need batteries, uh, especially to get you through the wintertime. Uh, in the summertime, you're going to have to figure out how to burn up the extra power. But in the wintertime, you're going to have to figure out how to conserve and save as much as possible uh, so you're not hitting the grid. Uh, well, that's it, everybody. I'm not going to ramble on for too much longer. Have a good day and a better tomorrow. We'll see you again in 30.